The woman whom Donald Trump was found liable of sexually assaulting faced off with the former president on Wednesday, January 17, in a New York courtroom, to say he subsequently ruined her reputation. Eugene Carroll, 80, is seeking more than 10 million US dollars alleging that Trump defamed her in 2019, when she first made her assault allegations public, by saying she is not my type. It means I'm too ugly to assault. Carol told the court. Asked about how the comment damaged her reputation, Carol said previously I was known simply as a journalist, and now I'm known as a liar. A fraud, and a white job, quoting insults, leveled at her, by the 2024 White House hopeful. There were tense moments, in court, as Carol, gave evidence, just a few rows away from where Trump sat. Carol's legal team complained that Trump was making audible comments about her evidence and that jurors could be influenced, CNN reported. The judge in the civil case asked that Trump lower his voice when conferring with his legal team. Mr. Trump has the right to be present. That right can be forfeited, the judge reportedly said. I understand you're probably eager for me to do that. I would love it. Trump replied. Following the day's proceedings, Trump used a media briefing to attack the judge for his refusal to delay the trial by a day so he could attend his mother-in-law's funeral. He said, absolutely not. I thought it was terrible, Trump said before heading to New Hampshire to give a speech ahead of the state's primary vote. He's a nasty judge. Trump's lawyer Alina Haber earlier objected to an answer from Carol. Drawing a sharp rebuke from Judge Lewis Kaplan, who told Haber that when you speak in this courtroom or any courtroom in this building you'll stand up, CNN reported. Trump was in court for the second day as he seeks to use multiple legal cases against him to galvanize supporters ahead of the New Hampshire primary election next week as his 2024 campaign continues. Carol told the hearing she was in court to stop him from telling lies about me. CNN reported that Trump shook his head when Carol accused him of assaulting her. The trial is separate to a case last year where another New York jury found Trump liable for sexually assaulting Carol in a department store dressing room in 1996 and subsequently defaming her in 2022 when he called her a complete con job. The case is also separate from the four criminal cases and the civil fraud case the real estate tycoon faces. Trump has been in court while also campaigning ahead for the New Hampshire primary. As he closes in on becoming the Republican candidate in the November election against President Joe Biden.